Hello, I'm to hear more. You may have seen me on such sketches as to hear eats a napkin dipped in ranch, <laughs> or to hear takes on Hollywood with no pants. Neither here or there. The point I'm trying to make is I can adjust to any scene. I'm a voice actor, okay? You need me to be Kevin Hart? Okay, I can do that. Mm? All right, now you can do. Mm. Bow! You need me to be Tony Baker? What's up, peeps? Hmm? We in, we in the community. Hmm? What if we need you to be tall? Oh. What would you do then? I, mean, I would probably climb on Kev's breast and <laughs> the scale those now that's really high. Those lumpy breasts. They call him Rocky Mountain in the back in it where he's from. Uh, right. This is this is the voiceover challenge. Okay, it's going to be an amazing challenge at which I will excel. What? At which <laughs> what? I was like, did he just keep it in. Keep it in. I don't know why Tahir is the head of this challenge because his voice is raggedy. You know, it's just Tahir has a voice that you really just don't want to hear. Like without, like you need to see Tahir to be able to take his voice. Today we have a very amazing young lady in the office with us, in the studio with us. She's a trained voiceover actress. She's also an actor. She's also uh, a comedian, a writer, producer. She does it all. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Miss Shondalia White. Yeah. 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 Who is he talking? It's just us in here. Hey, Who is he? I'm Why is he a host, baby? Why are you so mad at He's me? He's an orator. Why is he a host? You know what's crazy? Like when you lifted your arm up, your breasts swing under. <laughs> Hi, my name is Shondalia White. Uh, I've been doing voice acting for a long time. It's been over 10 years, maybe even 15 at this point. Um, <laughs> uh, some of my credits include uh, Pixar's Onward, um, Nickelodeon's Casa Grande's, and Loud House. You may have seen me on camera on Blackish or Fresh Off the Boat. Um, and you may have seen me on some Geico commercials. A couple, actually. Yes, I am a voice actor, stand-up comic, writer, mm -hmm, producer, mm -hmm. and actress. No. Uh, <laughs> and so today, we're going to be doing a voiceover challenge. Awesome. So it's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. A lot of voice mm -hmm. actors yeah. out yeah. here. So it should be a lot of fun. But we're going to start with a warm-up. Right. Okay. Did my tea ever come? <laughs> it ain't going to happen. Sweet tea, ask for that tea, Sweet tea does not started. help with voiceover. Unlike most of these guys, I have actually been a voiceover artist for a very long time. One that has actually gotten paid oh. to do voiceover. Oh, oh that's, that's, that's yeah, what we're doing that's Tony's board. That's what his voiceovers are. <laughs> it's him bored walking through a community <clears throat> talking for animals. So it's going to be a free warm up, <clears throat> all right? So get loose. But it's all vocal because we're doing voiceover, right. OK? Yeah. So I want you to start off. We're going to do ta. Ta 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 you know, Pixar ain't called me yet. Hey, Pixar, you watch? Go on, man. Tony Baker thinks he owns the voiceover lane. Uh, look at who you came to see with the ducks you made up. I could do voiceovers too. I let him have that, okay? Now let's add all together. Budaga, budaga, budaga. Budaga, budaga, budaga. Dugaba, dugaba, dugaba. Dugaba, dugaba, dugaba. Gutaba, gutaba, gutaba. Gutaba, gutaba, gutaba. Give us a trap beat, we good. <laughs> Basically, everything that we did to warm up is things that I say on a regular basis. And I didn't even know, I was just killing it. I was just out here killing it, didn't even know it. I was just trying to have a regular sentence come out of my mouth, but it always sounded like ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta. That's typically how I say hello. Okay, oh, yeah. everybody feeling nice and warm? Yeah, yeah. You know? feeling Ready nice. to beat All them. right, so I'm gonna tell you about the challenge. So this first challenge is our mini challenge, which I like to call In a World, oh. right? Oh, movie yeah. trailer. Yeah. In a World, movie trailers, where biscuits where we have overrun be... the city. <laughs> One man stands to exactly. gravy them all. Exactly. You will be making a, um, a actual prom a promo trailer today. Oh. You will be writing it, a 30-second oh, promo. Oh, you gotta write it, too. Oh, yeah, right? So the first challenge is movie trailers. And this is not my forte. I'm not even going to lie. This is not what I do in the voiceover world because these are very hard to come by. You have to be the creme de la creme in the voice world to be able to get a movie trailer. I feel like I have 
an edge up over my competition, except for Tony, because Tony has seen just about every movie that comes out. Um, so he's really, I imagine he will be really good at this. However, uh, Tony Baker can't read. He said this in many a text message, text groups. He was like, I can't read, guys. Tony, you're gonna do a musical oh. horror. That's right up uh, your alley. Yeah. <laughs> Angel, you're going to do a Western horror. I knew it. Okay. Horror. Okay. Um, <laughs> All right. <laughs> Kevin, you're going to do a historical horror, and we're going to have to hear with the adventure horror. So I'm going to give you these so you know what's going on. We'll let we'll give you a link to the uh, trailer so you can look at it. And you have three to five minutes. How many times will we have to do over? Because <laughs> you only go one time and hush. I know how to short. It's the short challenge. <laughs> oh, this is the short one? They're uh, going to be doing a musical, western, historical, and adventure. But... They have to keep it in the vocal styles of instructor, uh, casual conversational, narrator, and announcer styles. So that's pretty challenging. <laughs> I got a historical horror with an announcer voice. And to be honest, guys, I don't even know what that means. I was coming in here to go, in a world where things happen and destruction is rampant, one man's daughter stands taller than him. Can he reach the top of the refrigerator? Or will he have to call her in to get the Reese's Puffs? To hear more is small. Coming to theaters from the soon. I say, if I punch you in your stomach, then I play too much. <laughs> so I got musical horror. I don't like musicals. I like three musicals. Blues Brothers, Little Shop of Horrors, and The Wiz. Everything else, trash. Uh, all right, Mary Poppins is cool. Maybe the sound of music. But I'm not a musical guy. Once they start singing in the streets and stopping what they're doing, and then, you know, you got the paper boy dancing with the local policeman, and then the councilman is on the roof of a brownstone building, and they just dancing in unison and kicking and flipping, I'm out. So for my movie trailer, I have to do a Western horror. Um, so Westerns? I don't watch them, so I'm trying to think of all like the key words that you hear in westerns, you know, tumbleweeds, horses, guns, and trying to figure out how I'm supposed to lay that onto the trailer that they sent us. They gon' they gonna finish listening to mine. They're like, I want this now. I know this is this is fictional, but I wanna see it. The way he described it, it sounded like like the most beautiful breakfast brisket sandwich, and that's what I wanna do. I wanna make people hungry for this trailer. That's what I'm gonna do. Brisket everywhere, you feel me? Everyone is super funny, they're talented, and I know they can do this, but uh, Tony is making me a little nervous because, uh, yeah, he, yeah, he was having some, some troubles um, understanding what to do. So, one, two, three, and go. This fall, take the time to find out what's in that cup. What's in that box? What's in that bottle? What's in that pop? What's in that plot? Sanitizers full throttle. This Halloween, find out who lives, who dies, and who got blocked. <laughs> Oh, poor Tony, what was that? I have never heard of, what's in that box? What's in that bottle? What is that? He knows that no musical or no trailer ever had that mess in there. One chandelier was like, yeah, they be singing in the trailer, Hamilton. I was like, oh, I did it though. They was laughing at me, but it was catchy. That's the key. Okay, Tony, uh, I really liked it. You did a great job. And listening to it, your clarity was great. I really loved that. Um, and your mic technique, and I love the song. It was so catchy, so. Okay. Looking good. The All judge right. has spoken, haters. All right. right. I was surprised okay. you said those things. All right, Angel, are you ready? Mm hmm for my Western and conversational voice. Yes. Okay, Western horror. I seem confident coming into this first challenge, but I am shaking in my boots. The summer of 1893 will never be the same. Four friends decide to take on a whole town full of fakes, frauds, and murderers. There's a new sheriff in town, and he's thirsty for justice and blood. Working from sunup to sundown may not keep these four outlaws on the road to freedom. They want to make it, but the odds are against them. Can they succeed at taking out the killer that is Hollywood in an epic shootout? Or where their careers 
fade to black. Dang it. Angel was proud of that. Angel, Angel's, Angel's, voice, <laughs> Angel's voice sound like butter in this <laughs> microphone. <laughs> it was so doggone clear. I can't even hate. The clarity hate. was, I was like, amazing. And I wow. Love, and I love the Southern accent, Dang dog. It, that was my way I love it. it. I'm sick of it, honestly. I'm sick of her being so amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm not ashamed to say I'm jealous of Angel. Okay? Angel, I'm Angel. I get robbed. That's all I want to say about her. <laughs> Let's hear it go, Keep Chantal. This. I'm Keep all this in part. my head now. Look, uh, mm -mm. You got it, Kevin. It's, it's like a... watching LeBron go in a dunk contest, then you got to go. <laughs> <laughs> She's a good one to follow. That's what you get, though. Yeah, I watch a lot of movie trailers, but I feel like I'm kind of stuck, because I'm always like, in a world where randomness per per perseveres, and the first thing she said is, you can't say in a world. So I'm kind of like, ah, I don't know what to say then. This is a story of a deadly global pandemic and a group of comedians battle to laugh through quarantine. The year is 2020 and COVID threatens laughter throughout the world. Keep Your Distance Comedy is created to fight the pandemic with laughter. Will laughter prevail or will doom rule the earth? Join Tony Baker, the cranky old man, to hear more, who is short, his dollar is taller than him, and he is not good at things, Kevin is better than him and Angel, the very old actress, and a bunch of sketches to promote a comedy show. Keep your distance coming soon. Woo! Wow. That was good, you what? ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, very self-promotional. All about keep your distance. We get it. You came up with an outdoor comedy show. We call those family reunions, where I'm from. <laughs> You can keep your distance from the delivery room. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one right there. <laughs> He's gotten better. Yeah, Angel got a lot of kids. She got all the kids. From the delivery fact. room! She got all the kids at the public school. Listen, man, I'm going to take any opportunity I can to promote Keep Your Distance Comedy, the only quarantine comedy show that I'm producing. There's also various other ones, but I'm not going to give you any names. You had great vocal clarity. Um, your mic technique was actually good. At, at, towards the end, it got something was happening. I'm not sure what that was. What was did a, you do? He was trying to catch his breath because he had swallowed too oh, much. Oh, I was like, something happened because yeah. I was listening to it. Something yep. happened uh, towards the end, but it was fine. And um, Points died. That's what that means. Yeah, the content was great. Thank you. Yeah, I the content like really was awesome. She was yeah. like, something happened there. <laughs> <laughs> minus. That Anytime spit. you say something, then right, oh you know God. it's a minus. Yeah. Something happened there. Something happened there. Yeah. Zero. This is what I do. So sit back and watch a master work. <laughs> and I was like, clink, clink. That's from uh, Living Single. Khadija said that. Powerless against his appetite. Kevin finds himself bartering service for a cup of Victorian-style chicken noodle soup. Across town, a group of friends erupt in horrid extremes as they realize the 20 piece is all thighs, not mixed as promised. And the chaos spills into the streets as we see Angel's twerk friends interrupted by Keon's challenge to do push-up. She chose violence. In a weird turn of events, Tahir gets killed because of an unpaid balance of $16 million of baby diapers because Angel has 42 kids. <laughs> I mean, he, uh, was, I mean. he was nowhere near where they was. <laughs> that visual left you, baby. Nah, 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 nah. No, they spread it up. No, they no, spread it up. No. <laughs> that was so funny. That visual pull, peel no, 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 off. No, they spread it up. They spread it up. Wait a second. He started up. out matching them. Yes. Like, yeah, it was he looked good. up at Key. It was Key. He said Key. It was him on the screen. When I saw Key on wasn't on the screen, I was like, all right, I'm just going to have to skip one of these paragraphs. Not one of these. He has two more paragraphs to go with two seconds left. You mean the fumbles, too? It's, oh, man. It's that just was two great. more pages. It's two more pages. <laughs> He had so much script over there. He was like, yeah. To hear wrote the Old Testament for his movie trailer. Uh, he was like Moses coming out from the mountain with the tablets, and we were just like, sir, the movie's over. It's wrapped. He wrote a novel. He wrote a Stephen King novel. Tahir wrote Lord of the Rings for his trailer. He skipped a whole paragraph and still went over. I don't know why he's talking that much. He literally, look out to hear read. Uh, when the movie began, Mr. Jones, he was in afraid. Who, who has to put their finger up to read at your big age? Did, Did you practice that right? with the thing? No, I just wrote it. That's all right. <laughs> I could have did better. I'm going to start with uh, the loser. OK. OK. So we actually have a tie oh. for the loser. Yes. 
Um, I'm not and, alone. And it is Kevin and Tahir. Yes! Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, baby. I lose yeah. big. Yeah. I lose big, baby. Let's That's what I do. Go. And I'm going to tell you, you were very uh, fast. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so that was the main thing for you. It was very creative and interesting. Oh, um, interesting to hear you for you. I know everything I did wrong. It was super <laughs> fast. I know, I know, I know. Your, 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 your paragraphs were long. You missed the paragraph. I did. Um, you and... wouldn't have known unless I told you. I'm just an honest student. <laughs> but you were so honest, and yeah. I appreciate you. Thank you. Uh, it was still very interesting yeah. and everything. I put a lot into it. You put a lot in it. I love it. it. I wanted to, but I just wanted yeah. to make sure I was in good company. And I, I love couldn't. It. I'm gonna pick it. the better person oh, yeah. to lose with. Great job. No, we're good. Yeah, that's why I was, that's um, I mean, okay, like and then we have uh -oh. um, Tony up next. Oh, Tony, oh, oh, Tony, oh, Tony in that uh, second. <laughs> you, um, you got 22 points, and the only thing you came, uh, the presenter style was slightly off. You came in a little short, too, so you even had time for music. Uh, and then we have our winner. Hey, 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 was hey, 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 Angel was 24 points. Woo! I won fair and square, and they lost every single last one of them. To hear it, Kev, they were twins, losing. Double mint losers. You know what I'm saying? It was great. Angel won, and listen, I be giving Angel a lot of crap, but this challenge, she blew us out of the water. Sure did. It was just... <laughs> What's in that box? What's in that bottle? Oh. Y'all gonna be singing this when the episode is done. Tony got robbed. Put it in the comments. <laughs> okay, so now we're moving into the world of animation for our second challenge, okay? okay? Ooh, I like it, I like it. <laughs> you will be writing a dialogue, a one-page dialogue, four lines per character. Oh. And it's only two characters. Okay. And I will be reading with you, so oh. we'll, we'll be doing a partner read. We okay? gotta go with a professional voiceover artist. Shut up. <laughs> we'll be doing a partner read. Um, I also will be giving you uh, kind of like little genres in a sense, right? So some of you will get a, a teen thriller. Okay. Some of you will get a tween type of show. Okay. Someone will get the um, preschool and someone will get anime. This challenge is You Talk Funny. We're moving into that world of animation and I'm really looking for the, um, the contestants to really bring it, bring that character to life. And Angel, you will be choosing first because you were the winner. Yay! So okay. you can pick whichever one you want. Leave and us some good stuff. Tony will go second. And leave us some good stuff. Nah. And then I'll when we when mix we get it up to for you. Well, you, you just know, get what's given to I'm us. I'm gonna do huh? the boom, boom, just boom, like black. Huh? <laughs> just, <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Boom. <laughs> just take what they're gonna give to us. We'll show them to here. Yeah, okay. We will. When I'm getting into character, uh, the first thing I do is read that character description uh, and hold up. If you get a picture, because sometimes you don't get a picture, but if you get a picture, I'm looking at what does the character's face look like, especially their posture, um, and how I can manipulate that to bring it to life along with that character description. Okay, so Tony. Uh, show me which character you got. Boom. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, Tony got an animal. He just he don't do, he, he's gonna just do one of his voiceovers. What, what a fool believes. What a fool believes. Don't you do it, Tony. And I'm gonna give you a character description. So your character description is a uh, bio D. Bio D is an eccentric, overexcited boat attendant whose face is uh, stuck in a squint. Bio D loves big words like uh, that start with a G to seem more intelligent. Ah, I like to hear. <laughs> Wait, on to hear. So Angel, can you show me what you have? Okay, a Angel one, has the owl. A two. Yes, a yes, yes. <laughs> so uh, Angel, you are Epica. Epica is an out of shape, nose bleeding car dealer from Vegas who went east to start a new life. Uh, Epica speaks in a sing-songy way in, in, in a, at inappropriate times. Sing soggy way at inappropriate times, guys. Yes. So sex or eating. One of the things that I have up on these guys is that I can do some accents. So I got this owl. I was really excited. And then when she gave me the description of the owl, she told me where the owl was from. This owl was not from a place that I knew how to do the accent. Las Vegas? How do people talk there? Kevin, let's see what you have. I wasn't expecting to know where she was from. Oh, yes. I got nose tooth boy. Okay. What's in his nose? Is it a tooth or a piece of tissue? I think it's tissue. Oh. Oh, man. Poor little All fella. right, so, Kevin, I'm going to give you Chameleon. Uh, Chameleon is a grumpy, short-tongued, 
ex-Marine with halitosis who doesn't trust Ooh. anyone, not even himself. My character, picture, description, all the stuff you gotta memorize and do the character, it's too much. I can't do all this. I'm not a voiceover actor. And to here, let's see what you have. I got Wally. <laughs> Wally. Oh, I know I can see it. Let me see it to here. Yeah. Okay, great. All right, so he, it does, it actually does look like Wally. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, so you have Porgy. Porgy is an, an uh, elite emo cheerleader who smokes before everything. Uh, Porgy loves to talk and usually spits due to dry mouth and uh, the pain in his back. Yes, he's got pains. He's got this <laughs> robot ass back pain. Yeah. I was given this picture of a robot who smokes and he is E elite emo. I don't even know. I think that's that is the that's emo with a cape. Angel, why don't you pick the one first? Oh, you you give me the four categories. Yeah. So it's a teen thriller. It's the tween preschool and anime. I would like to do preschool. Preschool. So I'm gonna sign it out. Then uh, Tony, you go ahead and pick one. Anime. Anime. Best believe I'm picking that. And uh, I'll, I'll go gonna, next. I'll, I'll so go. I wanna, I'll go. I'm gonna give you all one. So you have anime. You have the preschool. Preschool. So I'm gonna give. Uh, you the teen thriller and the tween. What's, what's tween me? Some things that people may not understand about voice acting is uh, they think it's just funny voices and you are not just making funny voices. You're actually become, you're acting, you're full blown acting and you're becoming someone. You don't have that luxury of using everything to convey a message. Like when you're on camera, like right now, you can understand how I feel or what I'm thinking. I'm using my hands, I'm doing this, da da da. And with voiceover, you have to do it all through your voice. So of course I made the strategic choice of doing preschool. Now I could have given that to one of the other boys because having to talk in that really high pitched tone doesn't seem like something that they could do well. But I said, don't worry about them. They will mess themselves up on their own. You worry about getting the thing that you know how to do. And yes, I do have a lot of kids, so I know some preschool shows, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so I picked anime just because I'm familiar with anime. You know, I haven't seen preteen cartoons since my, my own sons were babies, and you know, they 45 and 86 now. So my genre was tweens, okay? I got tweens, and uh, I didn't, I, I don't like kids, okay? So I'm already out of my element because that's, that's not on brand for me. Let me tell you what, Shonda Leah don't be giving us enough time. We are not professional. She gave us five minutes for the first challenge, 10 minutes for the second challenge, I need three hours for each. I don't have enough time. Angel, would you like to go first, or when would you like to go? <laughs> Let me just go first, because they're going to be mean regardless. Not me. Okay. Okay. Angel, not, not, to hear, not to hear. We want you I, to I lose all. I look forward. That's why I come to lose. Everybody <laughs> else wants to be winning. Don't nobody so, want to be the loser. That's a spot that's never, you know? Ain't nobody fighting for that. Put, uh, uh, maybe put your, uh, yeah, yeah, just so we can see what it is. And I'm going to choose your script. And let's see, just as a quick review, Angel is the owl. Yes. Mm -hmm. Epica. Yes. And we're doing a preschool style. Yes. And uh, I will be uh, playing Fred. Is Fred a friend or? Yes, he's a friend. He's a, he's a squirrel. Mm -hmm. from the Big Apple. I chose to go first because the boys seemed so nervous. I wanted them to get a chance to be okay going. You know, I said, let me sacrifice myself and go not knowing where the bar would be set. I'm such a good person. Card one, card two, I win, you lose. <laughs> oh, hey, Africa, that's not fair. I don't even know how to play this game, and, and you shouldn't pick on me. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, Fred. Well, let's play a game that you're good at. Oh, how about I race you in a, in a foot race? Okay, a one, a two, a three, go! <laughs> wait, wait, Fred, you're going too fast for me. Oh, my no. See, Epica, it's not fun losing all the time, is it? Uh, you're right, Fred. I will play nicer with you from now on. You're my first friend since I moved all the way to the Big Apple. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, now, teach me how to play.
play your fun car game, please. <laughs> and and I will help you, and you will run faster. Deal? <laughs> Deal. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, that was just, great. Just, just go yeah, ahead and end it. Just go ahead and end it. Yeah. Just go ahead and end it. Yeah. There's no point. Hey. That was the same stuff. Lines? It's four lines. How y'all, y'all was practicing outside together? That was too much synergy in there. This is the first time. Oh, that's just the first time. The first time and y'all had voice match? How you told her when to say it? It was preschool. Angel went first and nailed it. She nailed it. I was hot. I wanted to snatch her whole hair piece off. I was hot. I was hair like. Piece? And then her and Shonda Lee was just vibing, black girls sticking together, just like, yay, and you need their fingertips touched like blacks. And I was just <laughs> like, ugh, sick of it, man. Wow, she blew me away. I mean, this girl, she brought it, all of it. She had the preschool, uh, and she, not only, I didn't tell her that preschools always have some type of song, but she knew that, and she actually incorporated it into the script, as well as giving me direction on what I should do along with her. So that's why we had such a nice give and take, and uh, it was just great. Uh, Angel, it was fantastic. I love, it was definitely, your voice was right in, in character. Thank you. You had that nice, the how they always have a song <laughs> in preschool, yes, and I didn't do. say that, but you know this. So that's very, that was very uh, spot on. Thank you, Shonda And the dialogue was great, so great job. Well, just Thank good you. times all around, huh? <laughs> I, and I you gave hate. the nice give and take when we, because partner reads, you know, that's tough. Yeah. yeah. So, she yes. was fantastic. No, it's crazy. Thank I can't even All hate. I heard was Angel, my guy, you were so good, they don't stand a chance, but I have to do this. <laughs> right. Really? It's, it's not fair how good Angel is. Like, honestly, like, we got to switch with some entertainment stuff. Like, let's find out what she's not good at, like knitting or cooking or being celibate. Yeah, I'm going to let you here go there next. Go. Yep, so let's see. Let's just, just get it, let's just get it out, out of the way. Here. Just so, go sit outside. Trash. Uh, headphones on. And to here, you have Cordy. <laughs> mm -hmm. I will be playing SW. Yep, you're uh, and... one of my friends on the cheerleading team. OK. Am I a girl? Yep, you're a girl. OK. And here we go. <sighs> I'm, like, really worried about the state nationals next week. Ugh, why? We've been killing it all season. Yeah, I know. Just worrying gives me something to do in between smokes. Uh, yeah, about that. I've never met a smoking robot with chronic back pain before. Yeah, well, the back pain isn't real. It's just a better way to get parking at the mall. <laughs> but you have wheels for feet. You make a good point, but... Oh, wait. Beep, bop, beep, boop does not compute. How convenient. Because I'm a robot. <laughs> <laughs> I switched it up. You booked it. Uh, <laughs> you absolutely great. booked she's it. She's great. Chandelier is the best. What are you talking? I was elite. I was supposed to be an emo. That was not, the whole no, character I, was I, like I, emo. I, I got it. Tahir doesn't even try. Tahir, don't try. I'll be trying my all best. He he did, try. All he did is write a script that was longer version of his character. Can I go next, Chandelier? Are you I sure mean, can? I feel like this is... This is you just sure can. The Angel, I, I, being in here the is the worst. Y'all wanted me to go first. No, we just wanted to do want the you biggest to, spot. Nah, whatever. <laughs> no, I don't want, can you not? Okay. Just, if you would just, oh yeah, yeah, just, just look at, I'm on soft, guy. I'm on soft. <laughs> now listen, kid, you got the birds and the bees. They meet up and then boom, a baby's born. Mm, how do you even know? You're just a kid. A kid that fought with the Corps in the Battle of Okinawa. I was in that foxhole for three straight nights with only my rifle and a stick of gum. No man left behind. Semper Fi, hoorah! Mm, I don't think that's where babies come from. Babies come from the birds and the dadgum bees, Roger. And you better not be near a bird or a bee. But they don't. And I'm not doing any of that, so... Hey, you better not. And listen here, you filthy maggot. Birds, bees, smooch, baby. Or is it birds and birds and bees and bees? I don't even know anymore. I don't even know myself. 
Mm, yeah, I don't think you do. Scene. <laughs> Shonda Lee! Great job! <laughs> hey, the way she did her voice, she was like, that was a boy. That was that a teen boy. She did a teen she, boy. Shonda Lee is amazing. I, I'm, at I'm tripping that you be, first of all, the real talent is Shonda Lee. Oh, man. She this is her episode. I didn't great. even write nothing but words, and you found. She brought boy. it all the way to life. You were yeah. amazing. You yeah. switch. I'm gonna go on the channel. You come over here. Yo. You I go get that was good too. It was. It was. It was great. Not it looking was. at you too. Always. I actually like Kev's performance. I thought he did a really great character choice for the character. He didn't sound like himself. It was just per usual. His writing was meh. He did a great job. It was very creative. Um, it wasn't a quite. It wasn't a thriller at all. As far as, um, it was supposed to be a teen thriller, and yeah, it was just like an old grumpy man. So he had the grumpy man part down. Uh, it was supposed to be a kid, but you know, it's fine to have a grumpy man voice. But yeah, that wasn't, I felt, I thought he had kids. Now, shoot, this character right here, you, you can go real nasal with it. Hey guys, hey guys, listen, I'm not gonna put up with this anymore. I hate myself, I have halitosis. Man, I wish he you gave us, did that. gave us no nasal. This big nose with tissue hanging out of it, he gave us no nasal. He was a gritty, grizzled Vietnam sergeant. All right, Bro, Tony. Tony, you kind of bring that I actually home. like. This is my character, Bio-D. Now that was Bio helpful. Bio-D, tell us a she... little bit about Bio-D. Bio-D, you know, uh, he works, he's a boat attendant. You know what I'm saying? Loves his job. He's out here, he's excited all the time. You know that excited guy that's been there for 30, 40 years. Uh, Spody. Which is you. Spody. You know, we work together, but you're an assistant manager, so you're kind of a tight ass, a little bit. Mm -hmm. Excuse my language, you know what I'm saying? But you, you know, straight shooter. Okay. And you know how Biote gets down. <laughs> Tony is a good voiceover person. Tony really getting his whole body. I believe him. His face is animation looking. You know, he looked like he could be a cartoon eagle villain or something like that. And he he's in his own body. It's between Tony and Angel. Hey, Spody, did you see the glamorous gloss I put on the guardrail? I noticed that Bio-D but it's a little too slippery for a guardrail, don't you think? Oh, so basically you're saying that I made a gratuitous error. Oh, uh, well, I'm not sure I would say it was gratuitous, but it is an error. In that case, you have gregariously disrespected me. And for that, we must do battle on the ocean floor. Really, Bio-D? Is that is it that serious? Oh, indeed. Your gargantuan disrespect must be handled grammatically on a geological scale. Well, okay, Bio-D. But remember, I am the ancestors of sharks. The ocean floor oh. is my oh. domain! Oh. Ah! Oh! Good job, Shonda Leah. <laughs> oh, yeah. man. You are knocking it out of the park. You she are Mark is. McGuire Hated all ball. day long. Yeah. Tony's was actually pretty good. You know, he would, I feel like he could have went in a little bit more on the characters. Uh, but Tony ain't gonna give you 100%. He just he just ain't gonna do it. You know, we, we, we went to a party, we were supposed to dress like drug lords before, and Tony came just dressed like a, 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 a Colombian used car salesman. It was like everybody else had on suits and vests. Just and like Tony hey man, I'm talking to the camera right now. Tony brought it, of course. He better, because if he didn't and he does all these voiceovers that make me laugh, I would have been mad at him. But <laughs> but he, he did a great job. Um, the main thing with Tony, it was he was missing that eccentric piece of his character, and that was in the description, as well as he was a little bit too cool, because he's a cool guy. I mean, you know what I mean? I need that quirky. I didn't think Tony did that well. I'm not sure what Chandelier was talking about. Uh, uh, Tony did one of the voices that I've heard him do in his voiceovers. It's like the kind of like angry-ish man thing. It didn't make me think of anime. It did not make me think of uh, Avatar or something like that. I, I was just like, okay. It was neat. If it was a different genre, That's I would have been like, yes. Picked. But his big words were great. 
He put all that. The script of his, I thought, was actually great. Okay. Chandelier, real quick, I just want to say congratulations, Angel. I'm going to say congratulations. I want to say congratulations. Y'all say, right. say all with. that, and if I don't no, win. No, you won. If you don't win this, you got robbed. <laughs> yeah. Don't be on the you got robbed. No, no, no. Then what you said? Well, unless I won, then it was rightfully so. Honestly, I have to agree with them, Angel. You rock the house, girl. You are a winner. I mean, on every level, I had to give this one to Angel. I mean, just from the from our actual chemistry to the writing, down to staying in genre, down to keeping her her vocals where they needed to be. She just really brought it to life. So I had to give it to my girl. Sorry. Angel won and now she's disrespecting the whole set and the crew. <laughs> she's listening to vi videos all loud no. because she doesn't care about this challenge. Listen, she's baby. so professional. I come to work professional. She's listening to videos behind us. Your That's what y'all want when you want her. During the when challenge. you want Angel to win and she gets robbed, she robs us of our time. Did we listen to videos when she was winning? Oh, no. Yes, you did. Did we? You did. Were y'all rolling on it? <laughs> <laughs> and our runner-up, of course, is Tony. Oh, why is that of course? Wow. Uh. Because, Tony, you did really well. Where you fell off uh, was the fact that, um, I, first of all, I love that you did the, uh, put the action into the anime because, mm. again, that's something with a lot of times that happens in anime. Mm. And you came up with the actual G words that were big for no reason. For no reason. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, where I uh, realized you were missing um, was in your character. Mm. It was uh, missing that the eccentric, the squint, mm -hmm. and the uh, being more, um, you were a little too cool. Okay. Because, you know, he to mm. be eccentric, it mm. needs to be just a little bit, mm. you know, less cool. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and more of that underbite. Yeah. The mm. underbite. Yeah. Under I got one. Yeah. Right. And you didn't use it. That's a lot of things you got docked on. You didn't use it. Yeah. So, I didn't even think about the underbite. Yeah. I didn't think about that, though. So, yeah. Angel won, and I can't even hate. I can't. I'm not even mad at the angel win right here, man. You, you can't. I would have had to have literally turned into a cartoon to beat Angel. I'm sick of Tony, man. I'm just, I am just, I am sick of him not putting forth 100% effort. He lacks a days ago. He just, he just don't try. He could do some, huh? Spell it. Don't do that. You don't want them problems. Spell it. You know, all right. I spell. Hey Siri. <laughs> How do you spell lacks a days ago? Our uh, Ooh, the big one. Let's news. see who it is. <laughs> Actually, it is... A two-way tie again, me and my dog. You know, it almost down. was. I'd rather go actually. down with it now. <laughs> and, uh, oh, it's to hear you are. You're the loser. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> consistency, baby. Wait, she this said is the it. face of consistency. That's what I'm going to oh, do. I'm either going to win it all, I'm going to lose it all, baby. No, to hear. Listen, I, it was close between me and to hear. I think I only won because at least my voice was consistent, okay? He was like an emo, and then he was like a valley girl, then he was just like an exhausted, overweight man. But for at least the whole time, I sounded like a military guy. I didn't sounded do the like nose one? thing. I didn't have the thing in my nose, but the choices I make, I stuck with them. To hear was like, a robot, emo, beef jerky. I'm like, what, what that even have nothing to do with I did not nothing. say beef jerky. To hear for yes. your punishment, Angel will be writing a dialogue between you two. It can be uh, very degrading. It can be whatever you would like. Okay. But I it am. should be a little degrading for you all to do together <laughs> as his punishment. Nice. I am okay. a glutton for punishment. I don't know why. <laughs> Just I'm a glutton. Glutton. Here. He's a glutton, period. Yeah. You ain't gotta punishment. have to show. Yes. I gotta do, I gotta at least shoot for third. Because I won, I get the pleasure of writing something for my dear friend to hear. Um, Based off of our expert's advice, she said something degrading. Okay, Porgy, you big fat piece of junk. You want to be on the varsity team? <laughs> I need to see what you got. What's your best cheer? One, two, I smell like doo doo. Three, four, I'm sure I'd like to hear more. <laughs> to be recycled and made into a can of sardines. Now let me see your stunt work. Beep, beep, beep. I can't feel my feet. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I can't feel my feet. Now that was a good cheer, you lazy trash can. Beep, <laughs> beep, beep, boo. 
and sing. How you messed up with two lines? <laughs> I, I dropped the voice again. I was like, she is really tearing into more. me now. <laughs> she is lazy, fat. You lazy, fat, trash can. <laughs> she is tearing into me. 